Hey dear users. Welcome to the Agile Store Locator plugin tutorial. Today, we're going to explore how to use store detail features in the Agile Store Locator plugin, and how to create store detail page. If you don't know how to use store detail feature and leverage website field and page slug options, let us help you create a specific store detail page. Let's now start exploring store detail feature in Agile Store Locator plugin. So, let's get right into it. To view the feature location, go to ASL settings on Agile Store Locator. Now go to the store detail page to view all the options. Here you can see the list of website link type options. Now let's explore these options one by one. First, we're going to explore the website field option what is it and how to use it. To use this feature, you'll need to add your website URL to the store information page. Click on the Manage Store option under Agile Store Locator plugin. Once you arrived at the Manage Store dashboard, let's edit Amanda Store to add the website URL. Here you can see the website field on the right-hand side of the store dashboard. Let's edit the dummy website URL at the moment. Let's add the Agile Store Locator website URL. Now scroll down a bit to update the store. Now we've successfully added the website URL and the website field. Now let's see whether our website field option displaying on the Amanda Store store list or not. Go to Store Locator page. Here you can see the website button with URL pointing to the Agile Store Locator website is now displaying. Now let's go back to the Store Detail tab and explore the second option which is Page Slug. Here you can see the Page Slug option, let's select it. To use the Page Slug feature, you'll need to follow the three steps as described below Page Slug fields. Also, we need to create a page so that we can add page URL and ID. So let's create it. Go to the Page option and click on the All Page option. Now let's add the new page. Now we've arrived on the new page, let's add the Agile Store Locator short code so we can see the store locator. Also, copy the page URL as well as page ID to add on the page slug field in the store detail tab. Now let's go to the store detail page and add page URL and ID respectively. Similarly, we'll need to implement the last option as well, but before implementing this option, let us see whether our new website page button is showing or not. Here you can see the error because we haven't done the last step. Let's head back to the store detail page and see the last step. Here we are required to save the permalink changes to view the page. Let's click on this link. Now save the permalink changes. And now let's view the store page again. Now, we've successfully added the store page with store locator. Also, we've seen how to add a website button link. Now try yourself and let us know if you have any difficulties in the comments section below. Thank you for watching the Agile Store Locator plugin tutorial. Stay tuned for more educational tutorials. Until then goodbye.